Who can design a better t-shirt? A top rated Fiverr seller or me? Why well, wouldn't you to be the judge of that. And this is gonna be a really, really fun video, a fun print-on-demand t-shirt competition. I'm gonna go through the entire design process and then upload them both to Redbubble, add all the tags, and then I'm going to show them both to you so that you can decide which one you prefer. And you can let me know in the comments if you like theirs or you like mine. And don't worry, there are no hard feelings. So before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button. My aim is to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And the only way to do that is if you subscribe. So thank you so much. And also, also, just one more plug. If you want to share this video and get it lots and lots of views, that should hopefully get me more subscribers. So now that you've done all of those things, let's get started with the video. First, we're going to pick a niche. Then we're going to find a saying. Then we're going to find a seller on Fiverr and pay them, you know, to make a design. Then I'm going to go and make that same design using Photoshop and Canva and whatever I need to use. And then I'm going to upload to Redbubble both of the designs and show them to you. So that is the running order of this video. So let's get started with picking a niche. And the niche I'm actually gonna go with, and I've pre-researched this just because I wanted to be a bit more prepared for this video, but the niche I'm gonna go with is the dog niche. And the reason for that is I've had a lot of success with the dog niche, I've done a lot of research into the dog niche, and I actually found on the Redbubble Tags tool, I've made a video on that previously, but on the Redbubble Tags tool, the niche of animals and dogs in particular are going up. So it's got the nice green arrow going up. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna use that niche. And the next thing was actually finding a saying or a phrase, because when you get, or when you pay for a seller on Fiverr to create a design for you, they want a phrase of some sort so they can design around a phrase. So this is when I started digging and just trying to find a phrase that would work. I didn't want to use a previous design that I had because I wanted it to be from scratch. I didn't want to do any cheating. I wanted it to be totally fair. So what did I do? Well, the first thing I did is I went to Google and I started typing in funny dog t-shirts and that gave me so many different ideas. But of course, I don't want to steal anyone's idea. I really want to make this from scratch. So then the next thing I do is I search for dog memes. Memes are a great alternative to t-shirts and you can easily turn a meme into a t-shirt or into a sticker. So I searched dog memes and after I found some good dog memes, I went a step further and I did famous dog quotes. Now I know that sounds really weird, dogs do not speak. What famous quotes are they gonna be? Well, there are famous quotes by, well famous people about their dog or about a dog. Right, so I found tons of quotes and I've picked one that I just absolutely loved and I tweaked it a bit, um, not because I had to, I could have used the original tw quote, but I tweaked it a bit and I'm gonna tell you what that quote is. The original quote was, handle every situation like a dog. If you can't eat it or play with it, just pee on it and walk away. Now, I thought this was really funny and I thought it could work, but I thought it was a bit too long, so I wanted to just whittle it down so it would be better for a t-shirt and potentially for a sticker because as we all know, stickers are incredibly popular on Redbubble right now. So after a bit of thinking and a bit of tweaking, ended up being, be like a dog. If you can't eat or play with it, pee on it and leave. Okay, very similar. Just, you know, changing leave and walk away and changing handle every situation like a dog to just be like a dog, just because, you know, you don't need that many words. It's unnecessary. Now let's head over to the computer and find a Fiverr seller. So the first thing we're gonna do is we'll go to seller details and do a top rated seller and then click apply. And let's have a look. So 20 pounds, eight pounds, eight pounds. These all seem to be top rated sellers. So I actually kind of like the look of this guy. 4.9 stars, 1000 reviews. We're gonna click on him and we're gonna see what he offers. So let's do this one and let's see what he actually offers. Okay, that one doesn't seem to work. Let's just do this one and see what he offers. Same guy. Right, for basic, it's high resolution. You don't get the source file, you don't get commercial use. Standard source file high resolution, I need commercial use. So I'm gonna go for premium, which is 24 pounds and 19 pence. And I get commercial use, high resolution, and the source file. And yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm not going to click continue because I have shot this before, but my computer did not want to save the file. My computer is very bad and it keeps doing this. It keeps deleting my files when I record them. So I have actually recorded me paying for this and doing this and everything. Super annoying, but let's put it this way. This is the person I used 
and um, now we just have to wait for delivery. Now it's time for me to actually go and do this design myself on Photoshop. I'm going to use a variety of different tools, websites, whatever, to make this design. Whilst I'm making my design, they're going to be off making their design. Now I just have to quickly say I have shot this all once already, but my computer being a piece of rubbish that it is, it didn't save and that half an hour video went. So I'm gonna have to do it again, but don't worry, it's not gonna be half an hour. I'm gonna time lapse some of this. So first what we've got to do is we've got to go into Photoshop, create a new file. So I'm just gonna do 4,000 pixels by 7,000 pixels. If it needs to be, you know, made smaller or whatever, I can do that later. This is what I have to work with. So my aim for this is I'm going to try and do a dog with some ribbons with, you know, the phrase, be like a dog if you can't eat it or, or, or play with it, then pee on it and leave. That's the plan. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the things that I need for this video. So I'm going to start by going and getting some ribbons. For that, I'm going to use Canva. So let's open up Canva here. It's already open. And you can actually see the ribbons I've already got because I made this once before but basically these were just ribbons that I then changed the color to using the color picker over here I used I'm going for the, the a gray a gray kind of vibe and then what I did is after I picked them I downloaded as PNG and made sure the background was transparent and I clicked download very very simple the next thing I did is I now need to go and find a dog graphic of some sort so let's go into Place it. Now you can use another program which I've started using called Vexels, um, but because I've done this all before and I know what I'm looking for, I'm going to continue using Place It for this video. But like I said, Vexels is pretty cool as well. So we're going to go to Designs and we're going to go to T shirt Designs and we're going to go to the dog um, category because I'm looking for a dog. Not in real life, just, just for this design. All right, and let's have a look. Let's have a look at what they've got. So I'm going to just select anything. So let's just go and select this one. Right now, I need to pick the right dog, get rid of the text, which I'll do in Photoshop a bit later, and get rid of this horrible background. So no image for the background, no color for the background. I want it to be transparent. And my aim here is to pick a dog, then um, put it into Photoshop, and actually edit it and make it my own because I know I know I can use it as it is on place it, it you do have the right to do that but I still want to make it my own as much as possible so let's just quickly log in right the next thing we want to do is scroll down until we find that dog now I'm looking for like a more of a menacing kind of dog something like that but not as cute as that because this is a dog that pees on things potentially that Let's keep looking. I feel like there you go. I'm looking for that. It's a badass looking dog. That is going to be the dog that changes the game. Right, the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the background image. I want to make it transparent. So you can just do that over here. I can't get rid of this text because you need to have text on a place to design, but it's fine. I can crop that out in Photoshop. Now let's download this and it's downloading. Brilliant. So the next step is to actually move over to Photoshop and create this whole design with the font, all of it. So let's go over there and do that. I'm going to actually time lapse this next section and you can kind of see how I'm doing it and, and, and my, my thinking and my design aspects and, and, and my creativity and where I'm going with it. But I don't want to bore you with the time it takes to actually make a design on Photoshop. So I'm going to just time lapse it and then I'll explain afterwards. You know, what I'm thinking I might do is I might actually make the tongue just a bit shorter. That takes a long time, but is it worth it for that tiny bit of detail just to make this design that much better? I think so. I think it's, I think spending as much time as possible making the design look as good as possible is worth it. So I'm actually going to go in and manually edit that tongue and make it just a tiny bit shorter. So it goes from, instead of looking like a cute dog, more like a badass dog, because that's what I'm going for. So it needs to be a bit shorter. So let's go in, zoom in and do this. OK, 
Okay, that's done. The next thing I want to do is I want to change the colors around because I want to match the colors of the ribbon because one thing I like is having a t-shirt that doesn't have too many colors. That way it's just, you know, a lot easier to look at and a lot neater. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to change the color of the dog overall. Then I'm going to change the color of the ears and, and all of it. You'll see. That is what I'm talking about. The dog looks 10 times better than it did beforehand. So now let's put these ribbons in the right places and put some text in. Right, so far I am loving this. The next thing I need to do is actually put the text in, pick a font, and I think I'm gonna go with Bebas or Bebas New. Um, I feel like that's going to be a good font. So let's just let's just try. What are we thinking? Okay, that is doable, very doable. Next thing, let's firstly make it in the middle. Let's make it a whole lot bigger. And then we need to arch it around, around this. So let's do the arch. Might be a tiny bit too big. Nice. Okay, now I think I want to have some sort of, of stroke or something there. Right, that's kind of what I've got going for me at the moment. I think I'm going to... I'm gonna add one more touch, just like a bone of some sort. So let's go and find a bone. Okay, I have this bone here. I, uh, well, I already had the image because like I said, I, I have done this before. My computer didn't record it first time around, but it's a very simple image. Let me just make the bone a tiny bit bigger. And then I'm gonna duplicate this, put it on the other side. I think it kind of gives it a nice shape and then make it level. And then let's make this tiny bit smaller to fit in. Center it in the middle. And we have ourselves a design. Yes, I am loving this design. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're going to wait for the other guy to get his design and send it to me. We're then going to compare the two and I'm going to show you both of them. And I want you to let me know in the comments down below which one you think is better. I don't know. I I don't know, we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. Okay, so this is their design. Just downloaded it, it's pretty good, I have to say. I kind of like it. Um, they've got a lot of fonts, but these look like custom fonts maybe. It's really, really cool. The only thing that I don't like is that there's no dog on it or dog elements. Um, so the only thing that makes it like a dog is the big D-O-G there. But other than that, it doesn't, scream dog t-shirt to me but I do have to say it is an excellent piece of graphical design and I have uploaded them both to Redbubble so we'll see like they probably neither of them will get any sales who knows but maybe they will and maybe they won't either way um I'll, I'll put the links to both of them down below if you like dogs you can go and get it but I don't expect you to get it so don't worry but let me know which one you prefer do you prefer this one on the left or my one on the right let me put my one with a black background so it's a fair competition but you know I completely and totally understand if you prefer theirs so let's just let's just fill it in Okay, I mean, look, I actually kind of like mine. I wouldn't actually put mine on a black background. I would put mine on maybe uh, a very light grey t-shirt. I think that would look better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would put mine on a light grey t-shirt. And to be honest, I like them both. I really, really, really do like them both. They're cool. It's really cool. I don't like the font of Be Like A and Leave. It's too roundy and too, like, I've, all the fonts inside have been done so perfectly, so amazing, except the Be Like A and Leave just look like they're some generic font where everyone uses them and it's just a bit rubbish, but everything else is really, really cool. But anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.